Making color grades consistent between clips can be tricky to do, especially if you're trying to match totally different cameras or you're trying to get a consistent grade between clips that were shot in totally different lighting conditions. In this video, I'm going to show you a hidden color grading tool that I think a lot of people don't know about that will help you to match your color grade between shots. And then we're going to look at a few practical examples. When I say that this tool is hidden, I don't mean that you need some sort of cheat code or a special sequence of keystrokes to unlock it. I just mean that it's a feature that's not the most visible tool in the Final Cut Pro interface, and it's possibly something that you may have never even heard of. The tool I'm talking about is the Comparison Viewer, and it's the single most useful tool when it comes to accurately matching your color grade between shots. To find it, head over to the Window menu, Show in Workspace, and select Comparison Viewer. You can also use the shortcut Control command 6 Now we essentially have two viewer windows here, and the one on the right shows where your playhead is in the timeline, and the one on the left is the comparison viewer. And right now it's showing me the previous clip in the timeline. This is great because now as you move through your timeline color grading your clips, you can see what the previous shot looks like and use that as a reference to grade the current shot. You can also set the comparison viewer to show the next shot if you like, but seeing the previous shot is more useful in my opinion, because when you color grade, you generally start at the beginning of the edit and you move forward. So being able to see the previous shot as you go just makes the most sense. You can also select the save tab up here and what this section allows you to do is save a specific frame as a reference. Let's select this frame over here and I'll hit save frame. Now I can select my frame browser to open up all my saved frames. You can save frames from the timeline or you can add media to the browser and save frames from the browser window. This is handy if you have a specific reference that you want to try and match your color grade to, and this could be a previous video you did, an example of a grade that you want to replicate from a video that you've seen online, or even a still image that you like the look of. You can add up to 30 reference frames, and you can swap between them by simply clicking on the different frame. If you want to remove any references, you can simply select one and hit the delete key. If you think the comparison viewer is as cool as I think it is, let me know by hitting the like button. I'd really appreciate that. Now you know how the comparison viewer works. But before we take a look at two different examples, I want to show you how I set up my Final Cut Pro interface when I'm trying to match my color grade between shots. First, I want to see my video scopes, so I'll click on View and select Video Scopes. You can also use a shortcut, and I'll show you that over here, because I want to see the scopes on my reference frame too so I'll select my comparison viewer. You can see which viewer window is selected with this blue line over here, and then I'll hit Command 7. I have both of my scopes set to waveform, showing the Luma channels. Now we need more space, so I'm going to hide my browser window using the shortcut Control Command 1, and then I'm going to change the scope display to vertical layout on both of these windows, and I'm going to make my timeline smaller by just dragging this line over here. Now we're ready to match the color grade between shots. In the first example, we have two different cameras. This clip was shot using the Sony a7 III, and this was shot using a GoPro. This is what the ungraded clips look like, and you can see how different they look. I've graded the Sony clip to my liking, and now I want the GoPro clip to match. The first thing I'm going to do with this GoPro clip is to get rid of this distortion, this fish eye look, and to do that, I'm going to add Alex 4 ds Wide Angle Fix plugin. It's a free plugin, so if you'd like to check that out, I'll leave the link down below. Next, I'm going to add a color wheels adjustment. And the first thing I'm going to do with this color wheels adjustment is to try and get the brightness of this GoPro clip to match the brightness and contrast of the Sony a7 III clip. So to do that, I'm going to boost the midtones first because it's looking a bit dark. And I'm going to boost the highlights quite a bit. So we have a little bit of blown out areas in the sky on the Sony clip. So I kind of want to replicate that here on the GoPro clip. Something about there should do it. We also have blacks that are really dark and where you lose a little bit of detail. So I'm going to just drop the luma value of the shadows a little bit to kind of create that crushed black look in the darker areas. If you compare the two waveforms, it looks like we have a very similar brightness now between the two clips. Next, we need to compare the color and get this color to match the original Sony shot. So we have a little bit of a purple bluish tint in the darker areas here. So I'm going to grab this puck and I'm going to move it to a purpley blue color. I think something right about there looks good. 
Next, I want to match the highlights. And here we have a yellowish, slightly sort of green color in the sky. So I'm going to grab the highlights here and move it over towards a yellowy green color. I think something like that should do. And I'm going to boost the midtones a little bit. And I'm going to move the midtones slightly towards purple because we have a little bit of a green tint on the arc here. I'd probably boost the highlights a little bit more and then just drop the saturation of that slightly. If we look at what this looked like before and after, you can see that these two clips now match a whole lot better. This GoPro clip is actually a time lapse and you can see these cars just fly by here. So what I'd like to do is add a motion blur plugin. I've already added it here on an adjustment layer and I've also linked to that down below if you'd like to check that out. That'll create this nice smooth motion blur look with all this traffic here in the foreground. So now if we compare these two clips side by side, this is before and this is after we've matched the color grade. In the second example, we have these few clips that were all shot on the Sony a7 III, but on different days and at different times of the day. So let's try and get them to match the first two clips that we graded earlier. Let's start by copying attributes from this GoPro time-lapse clip to this shot of the Eiffel Tower. To do that, I'll select this first clip and hit Command-C to copy. I'll select the next clip and hit Command-Shift-V to paste. Now, all I want to paste here is the color wheels. So I'll deselect everything and just select the color wheels and hit paste. So we have a good starting point here for the grade, but as you can tell, it's too bright and it doesn't quite match the previous clip. So I'll drop the highlights here slightly and I'll probably drop the midtones a little bit as well. Now the highlight saturation is too much. I'll drop that a little bit and I'll probably also just adjust the shadows and make them a little bit more purple. So we have a bit more purple in these darker areas and I'll also drop the luminance of the shadows. Then lastly, I'll just drop the midtones a little bit more just to crush those areas. And this looks a lot closer to the previous clip. If I turn this color wheels adjustment off, you can see what we had before. And now we have a shot that matches the shot before. Let's do that again for the next clip. I'll copy and paste attributes and I'll just paste the color wheels adjustment. We've got a similar thing going on here with the highlights being too bright. So I'll bring those down and I'll make them a little bit more orangey and I'll drop the midtones here a little bit as well. I'll also drop the shadows and desaturate the shadows and the midtones a little bit. This is before and this is after. Again, it looks like it matches the previous shot quite nicely. Let's do it one more time for the last shot. Copy and paste attributes, just the color wheels. And this time we need to brighten up those highlights a little bit. It's looking too yellow and green, so I'll probably dial this back a little bit. And I'm definitely going to boost the midtones and the saturation of the midtones a little bit. If we play through the sequence, you can see how each shot is now color graded to match the shot before. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you enjoy using the comparison viewer in Final Cut Pro to match your color grades between shots and different cameras. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit that bell notification so that you don't miss out on future uploads and I'll catch you guys in the next one.